This video is brought to you by Manscaped.com. What's up folks, how's it going? This is Waj. Hope you guys are all doing well. Hope you guys are staying healthy inside. And today we're going to talk about the Samsung S20 Ultra. I've been doing a lot of tests with it for the past couple of weeks. I know it's been out for a while, but it definitely takes a long time for us uh, to make uh, this content possible, which is the battery life of performance tests. Now, the first thing that we're going to talk about is the overall specifications and capacity of the S20 Ultra. Now, we're going to be taking a look at how it performs against... Uh, popular smartphones right now, including the iPhone 11 Pro Max, Note 10 Plus, as well as the S10 Plus that came out last year, as well as the Pixar 4 XL from Google. Now, as you can see from the chart over here, in terms of battery capacity, the S20 Ultra definitely has a nice bump up. It's the biggest battery out of uh, the lineup right now, 5,000 milliamp hours. The Note 10 Plus had 4,300 milliamp hours. The previous generation S10 Plus from last year had around uh, 4,100 milliamp hours. The 11 Pro Max iPhone is just shy of 4,000 milliamp hours. And you're looking at 3,700 milliamp hours on the Pixel 4 XL. All of these smartphones have Qi wireless charging enabled, which is nice. But but the Samsung products are the only ones that actually have reverse wireless charging enabled. So you can use them as a Qi wireless charger within themselves. If you flip them over, you can charge other smartphones as well as uh, other devices that use Qi wireless charging, such as wireless headphones. Now, in terms of charging each of these smartphones that have fast wireless and wired charging built in, we've laid out the charge times for the wired speed. Now, the chart over here it gives you the level of charge you're going to expect within a given amount of time, specifically. 30 minutes, 60 minutes, and how long it takes to get a 100% charge. So you can see based on our experience, in terms of the rapid charging capability, it's going to really depend upon what the phones come with. Both the Pixel 4 XL and the iPhone 11 Pro Max come with an 18 watt charger. So they're a little bit slower in terms of uh, getting up to speed. Uh, so within a 30 minutes time period, you're getting around 39% uh, uh, on uh, the Pixel and about 48% on uh, the iPhone iPhone, but uh, all of the Samsung products that come with a 45 watt charger are up to 60% in that same time period. So they're definitely a little bit faster in terms of the chargers that come inside the box. And that's going to be better for wireless charging speed as well. Now, as you can see below that, we have uh, the 60 minute charge times as well as how long it takes to get to 100% charge, which definitely takes a while on uh, some of these phones. Now, before we talk about the actual battery performance of each of these smartphones, we're going to talk about our sponsor Manscaped that made this video possible. Now Manscaped is the only men's brand dedicated to below the waist grooming and hygiene. Now for the past couple of months I've been using their all-in-one no-brainer manscaping kit to make personal hygiene really safe and easy and they've just introduced their perfect package 3.0 kit which includes their all-new trimmer called the Lawnmower 3.0. Now the design performance and overall feature set of the 3.0 lawnmower trimmer has greatly improved from from the 2.0 lawnmower trimmer that I've been using for the past couple of months. It's got a very powerful 7,000 RPM yet quiet electric motor inside. It's fully waterproof so you can easily take this thing in the shower no problem. And the battery life is up to 90 minutes now thanks to the 600 milliamp hour battery. You also get a USB powered charging dock so you have a place to store the trimmer when not in use. The ceramic replaceable blades on the trimmer also have advanced skin safe technology so that's guaranteed no nicks or cuts in sensitive areas and you have adjustable trim guards a built-in bright led for additional security and assurance that you're bringing your trim game up to the next level furthermore if you live an active lifestyle like myself you're definitely going to need to check out their crop preserver and crop reviver it's basically an anti-chafing a deodorant as well as a refreshing spray lastly if you sign up for the subscription service at manscape.com you're going to get two free gifts including the shed travel bag as well well as their patented high performance anti-chafing manscaped boxer briefs. Now if you go to the link in the description down below you're going to get 20% off free shipping and two free gifts as we mentioned before by using our code MWTech20. Big thank you to Manscaped for making this video possible and let's get back to the topic at hand which is the battery performance test results for the S20 Ultra. Now the first thing that you're going to look at is our video playback test. This is where we play a high definition video on the VLC app on both Android and iOS platforms. We set the brightness to about 50% in airplane mode and simply loop the video until the battery dies. Now 
so far as you can tell from the results the longest run time is actually through the note 10 plus from samsung got a total run time of 17 hours and 53 minutes second is the iphone 11 pro max about 17 hours and 35 minutes in third place we have the s20 ultra of 16 hours and 22 minutes and the pixel 4 xl and s10 plus from last year got pretty much the same run time around 15 hours 44 minutes on the uh, pixel and about 15 hours and 43 minutes on the s10 plus now logically the performance results on this specific test don't give us an idea in terms of how these phones are going to compare in terms of real world day-to-day -day battery life performance but they do give us an idea in terms of how they're going to do in terms of general video playback test without any wi-fi capabilities on a long flight or where you don't have any power and you're watching some downloaded content movies tv shows on your phone and in that case all these uh, phones are definitely very very good in terms of giving you at least 15 to 17 hours of video playback now a test that's going to give us a little bit better idea in terms of what the real world battery performance is going to be like on these smartphones what we do is automate the process of opening up apps that you're going to use on a daily basis we do this by running a automated script that's going to open up all these commonly used apps in a given moment uh, via the tasker app on the android side and the shortcuts app on the ios side we simply loop the process of opening and closing these specific apps until the battery runs out now given the fact that this process is still automated it's still not going to give us an exact idea in terms of what the real world battery life performance will be but it will give us an idea in terms of standardizing the process of running all these commonly used apps such as browsing the internet via chrome using instagram youtube receiving and sending text messages as well as taking and using the camera app which is sometimes very battery intensive especially with these powerful cameras that we have on some of these phones now in terms of the results the longest runtime was actually on the iphone 11 pro max got a total runtime of 13 hours and 35 minutes next was the uh, s20 ultra 10 hours and 47 minutes that actually beat both the previous generation s10 plus as well as the note 10 plus which got a total runtime of 10 hours 41 minutes and 9 hours 51 minutes respectively on the samsung phones and the pixel 4 xl got a runtime about 8 hours and 53 minutes now, in conclusion, if we were to kind of sum up all the results, I would probably say that the iPhone 11 Pro Max is probably one of the better smartphones in terms of consistent battery performance, both in terms of app uh, usage and video playback based on our experience. In terms of day-to-day -day use, that's going to depend upon what specific applications you're using and how you use your smartphone in general. But uh, the S20 Ultra is uh, definitely a nice improvement from the previous generation S10 smartphones, as you would imagine, with the bigger battery life capacity and certainly up to par if not pretty much the same battery performance as the previous generation note 10 plus now besides those notions guys that's really it definitely check out our camera comparison test between the s20 ultra versus uh, the iphone 11 pro max if you haven't done so already you'll find that in the description down below we want to uh, give you guys a huge shout out for supporting the channel give us a like if you like this video make sure you have post notifications turned on and uh, check out manscape.com for more information about our sponsor that made this content possible. Thanks again, and we'll see you later. Take care.